Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm Mark and today I'm going to take you for a walk around a really nice example of a 2006 model Holden Commodore SV6 sedan. First of the VEs, so we'll start off at the front of the car. It does have a few minor little stone chips that have been touched up at some stage, once again consistent with its age. And we've got our driving lights right down in the bottom of our front bumper bar. As we move around to the driver's side of the car, as you can see, factory alloy wheels, a couple of minor little scuffs on the wheels. Uh, brand new tyres all round on this car, so we've actually put tyres on the car when we prepared it. Colour coded exterior mirrors and door handles, just gives it that really, uh, you know, slick look. Um, and as we move down along the driver's side, pr presentation's really good actually. Considering this car's approaching 10 years old, the way it presents is fairly impressive. And around at the rear of the car, we've got our factory spoiler. A few minor little cosmetic marks just on the spoiler there. Um, but overall, you look at the condition of the boot lid. Uh, we've got our chrome badging and even the bumper bar itself. Not a lot of, not a lot of blemishes on, on it. Um, so, as I say, fairly impressed with the way it presents based on its age. A few minor little cosmetic scratches here and there, just on our rear quarter and, and, and a little bit on our... Uh, rear door as well. Most of that is actually just polish that hasn't been cleaned off uh, properly when the car was detailed, which will obviously approach once the vehicle has sold. Uh, but the overall exterior condition for its age, as I said, um, is quite impressive. So we'll just have a bit of a chat about the motor now. Um, I did make an error earlier. Um, there's pro probably an incorrect, uh, incorrect form in the window of the car. This is a VZ Commodore, not a VE. Um, powered by a 3.6 litre motor, it's going to give us 190 kilowatts of power, 340 newton metres of torque, uh, but still deliver us fairly impressive fuel economy, 11.5 litres combined per 100 k's, so we'll get in excess of 650 k's to a tank of fuel based on a 75 litre into the rear tank. of the car now. Simple matter of just hitting one of the buttons on either of our factory keys to release the boot lid. And as you can see, really good storage area. In the event we need to store something a little bit longer in the car, um, you do have the ability to just drop the centre section of the second row seats down. Pull it forward. Um, does also act as a little tray and cup holders as well, but gives us the ability to store something a bit longer there if okay, we need so to. Here we are inside the uh, Commodore now, VZ Commodore. Um, we'll just run through all of the options in the car. Uh, we do have uh, height and reach adjustable steering wheel in this particular car. Set ourselves up where we're comfy, lock it into position, really simple operation. On our driver's armrest, we've got our controls for our exterior power mirrors. Um, in front of that, you do notice it is auto headlights, so they will uh, detect nightfall and turn themselves on automatically. On our steering wheel itself, on the left and right hand sides, we've got all of our controls for our audio. And also just up the top of our steering wheel, we have the ability to change gears manually uh, just by the two paddles on the left and right hand sides of our steering wheel. On our left hand side here, a little mode button um, just changes the information that we're feeding out through our little uh, screen on our dashboard, giving us fuel consumption, distance to empty and uh, that sort of info. Uh, our air conditioning vents up the top here and then all of our controls for our heating and cooling system there. Now this car has been fitted with a premium sound system, so we've got an Alpine stereo, AM, FM, uh, CD player. Um, there is also a, uh, an amplifier in the boot as well, so it does push out really good sound. Our T-Bar Auto, just here as well. Um, we've got a power button there, uh, just uh, basically to assist with economy. And then behind that, all of our power window controls, uh, cup holders there as well. And there's a manual button here to turn traction control off if we wish. Um, inside our console lid, good little storage area there. And there's also a 12 volt outlet as well. Um, the important thing to look at while we're inside this car is just the condition of the seats, even the carpets to that extent, um, and even the door trims themselves, just the way the car presents really good case for its age. It's only done 112,000 kilometres this car so um, the way it's been set up is really good. We've got an auxiliary uh, cord in our glove box as well um, and it is fitted with aftermarket Bluetooth as well. Which I haven't actually checked that it works but I would think it would. 
Now we go to our service books last but not least and I just have a look at the servicing of the car. I think from when I first looked at it, uh, the servicing is very good on this car as well. Pretty much, yep, every 15,000 Ks all the way through. So really good books. It's consistently serviced. I was struggling a little to say that, wasn't I? Um, consistently serviced every 15,000 Ks all the way through. And then we've just done a current intermediate service on this car as well, so fairly, fairly impressive. impressive example of a 2006 last of the VZ Commodores, SV6. 190 kilowatts of power, 340 newton metres of torque, coming out of a 3.6 litre motor, but still delivering 11.5 litres combined per 100 k's. So give us a call on 9907055 so that we can assist you further.